just showing you how to set it up so I don't really need a lot of stuff. Okay. So, this is the close to nature two person double walled tent. And it's double walled because when you set the tent up, it's all screens, which is beautiful when it's a really starry night, if it's a really hot night. Uh, so, the double wall comes with the rain fly that actually goes over the tent. So in this bag, everything I need, I even am able to fit my footprint in there, which didn't come with this particular tent, so I just bought one um, for like, I think I paid $16 for it. So then you have the rain fly and the tent here. You have all your stakes and your poles. So the first thing you do is put down your rain flat, your, your footprint, and you don't really want your footprint sticking out too much further from the tent because if it rains, oh, and you want to move rocks so you don't trip over everything, because if it rains and the rain happens to hit the footprint, it goes right underneath the tent. So if your footprint is a little bigger than your tent, you want to just kind of I actually fold it under a little bit, but for today's purposes, I'm just showing you how to set the tent up, so I'm not going to worry about it. And because it's bear season, I'm going to keep stopping and looking around just to make sure there's nothing watching me but you guys. Okay. Then you just spread your tent out. And this tent is so great because you actually don't need to stake it down, which is one of the reasons why I bought it, because I actually bought a one-person tent that if you don't stake it down, it wasn't this brand, but if you don't stake the one-person tent down that I have, it collapses over on itself, so that's not too great while you're sleeping. So this one, you don't really have to even stake it out. You just put the poles in it. Two. Get them all in together. They, they have a, a bungee cord in between to keep it all together. That's it. Oh, on this little tree. Okay. The only thing you have to make sure you get it in that loop in the middle because that holds the middle of the tent up. Oh. Come on. There we go. And then you put this one in these little tiny grommets there. And you do the same thing with this one. And I'm not the greatest videographer, so I could be chopping off my head. I'm not really sure. the middle one end in the grommet and it has these straps on here I just stand on it when I pick the tent up and put the other end in the grommet and then you do the same thing with the other side tent, slide it through, it picks up the middle, and you put this end in there. And then there's just a few clips. Pull them up, clip them on. Some tents have a lot of clips. This one just has 12, I think. And see how it's a nice screen? So when you're in there, you get a ton of airflow, stars, they look so beautiful out in the country. And this spot is so great because it's really open to the sky right there, but still nice and secluded. And before 
before I put the rain fly on, I'll show you. It's double doored. Nice big doors. And they just wrap around like this. As I have all these cords that you just hook it like that. You can leave it open when the rain flies on if you want. What's nice is when you're both sleeping in there, if somebody has to jump out in the middle of the night, they have their own door so they don't have to jump over you. Plenty of room in here. Both my husband, myself, my dog, our gear can go in there too if we need to because it's raining out. Um, both of our air mattresses, sleeping bags, pillows, everything fits right in there. It's fantastic. So, okay. And then you have the rain fly. I'm trying to keep everything together. You certainly don't want to lose anything. So the rain fly also has two doors, obviously. One of them you can use as like a little portico that stays out. That's the one with the two zippers. So this is the one zipper. You want to make sure what, what you want as the front area of your tent, you have the double zipper. And then you just Clip it in on all four sides. So you don't need to stake the rain fly either. You can if you want to, but if it's not windy, you really don't need to. There's just one clip on each corner. Just down nice and tight. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to make it usable. Actually, you don't even need the rain fly to make it usable. And if you want a little bit of extra air, they have these little things here. Stick it in there and it holds this open for a vent. There's one on each side. And if you want to put this up, You don't have to zip it in the night, so then you're not waking anybody up with the zipper. It just has these little Velcro tabs. Like that. And you can use your, I'll show you. You can use your trekking poles. I have two trekking poles, so not a problem for me. You just Put them in there. And one on that corner. And it has, I can show you here, in this little bag. It also comes with everything you need to stake this out. Put that right there for a minute, see if I'll hold it. It comes with the stakes, it comes with extra. twine, well, rope, to hook on that. It has these little things right here, which actually secure it so it doesn't slide on the ropes. So when it's raining, you can have this little overhang here, and these also stake out. So you have a nice dry area if you need to leave your pack outside or your shoes outside. The door opens easily. It's a really, really fantastic tent. I am super happy with my purchase. I bought it online. I paid $89 for the entire setup except for the footprint. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. This is a uh, heck yeah. This was definitely a good purchase. My, my thing is heck yeah or heck no, and this is a heck yeah. I would definitely recommend the close to nature tent. Have a great one.